This fragrance right here is discontinued, Aqua Di Gio Essenza. Still the best Aqua Di Gio to date in my opinion, and I'm giving it away to you guys for free, uh, someone in the UK, as perfumes are flammable and I can't ship this internationally. To be part of this giveaway, you have to be a subscriber and simply comment down below what non-fragrance niche would you guys like to see this channel expand to. Do not say hair, hair styling tutorials. If you say that, uh, I'm gonna not let you have this fragrance. <laughs> If you feel left out from the giveaway, don't forget we have our own swapping and selling group, link in the description below, where we do monthly giveaways from the money that we raise uh, through the small subscription that you have to pay for it. Thank you guys for 50,000 subscribers. I appreciate all of you as always. To celebrate 50,000 subscribers, we're gonna do the top 50 fragrances, in my opinion, that are currently on the market. We're gonna do 10 in each category. The categories are the usual versatile fragrances, date night slash evening, office, clubbing, and high heat summertime. Let's get into it. In the versatile category, Bleu de Chanel Parfum is the best concentration of Bleu de Chanel. It is a little bit overpriced still, but it is a phenomenal sandalwood based fragrance that is the best performer out of the three concentrations. I get 12 hours. The Your Homme Original is still better than 2020, and it is the most versatile floral fragrance a man can buy. It's still very masculine and sexy. Chanel, again, but Coromandel, an underrated private line fragrance that I think men can rock very well. It is the best patchouli-based fragrance on the market, in my opinion. Tom Ford's Beau Du Jour. It's versatile, it's loud, it gives you a lot of compliments. The best gentlemanly <laughs> mainstream fragrance out there. It's very clean and underrated. Moschino Toy Boy, underrated as well. It is a very nice combination of pear and rose super unique and a, a steal for the price. It smells more expensive than the price tag. Leighton is a great beginner niche fragrance if you want something that's sweet but smells luxurious and different. Nishani Hashivat has dethroned Creed Aventus. It is a little bit better quality. It performs much better. It is super sexy. It is an oak moss based batch of Aventus. Think of it that way. I think it is worth its price tag. The Nuit de Lon Bleu Electrique has revived the glory of the Le Nuit DNA, but made it more versatile. It has fantastic performance now. Well, six to eight hours, pretty good performance. It's one of my favorite fragrances of all time currently. Aqua di Parma Oud shows how the notes can be used very creatively to have a versatile fragrance that blends with aquatic nuances and citrus notes, and it can be used as a very versatile Oud fragrance. Armani Code Eau de Parfum revives the glory of the original Armani Code. It has that same spicy fresh DNA with a sweeter base to give it some good longevity and it's modernized it. For the office category, I know this is discontinued but you can still find it in the UK at least. Get it before it's gone guys, Prada Amber Pour On. If you want a complex, rich, powdery, soapy scent that sits close to the skin but lasts 12 hours, you need to acquire it <laughs> before it goes away. Penhaligon Sartorial, barbershop fragrances work great in the office and this is the highest quality of the type that's good for the colder seasons. It has a really nice honey metallic nuance to it and it also smells like freshly cleaned linen. Tom Ford's Fougere d'Argent is actually my signature but it's perfect for the office. It is the best balanced barbershop fragrance on the market that's just closer to the skin and I think it may be discontinued unfortunately. Terre de Mez is still a masterpiece. Get the Eau de Toilette for the most versatility. It is a perfect combination of orange, and woody notes. Dunhill Icon is much higher quality than the price tag suggests and it is very well blended. If you want a clean neroli but yet punchy and masculine fragrance that has a very unique DNA, you need to try it out. Chanel's Platinum Egoiste is a mature fragrance but it has a lot of character. The best metallic fragrance on the market in my opinion. Aqua de Palma's Colonia Senza is one of the brand's best. It smells much higher quality than the price tag. It performs fantastic. Again, a very unique, lots of character in this barbershop DNA. Tom Ford's Great Vetiver modernizes the vetiver notes, makes it sexy. It's close to the skin, but it smells super high quality and rich. But if you like the more old school style of vetiver fragrances, such as in Guerlain's vetiver, then go for Nishane's Sultan vetiver, which I think overall is the best vetiver fragrance on the market. Super smoky, rich, a little bit Middle Eastern, has fantastic performance, but it's gonna cost you a fair bit of money. And of course, Aqua Di Gio Profumo had to be on this list. I put it in the office category. It sits a bit closer to the skin. It smells mature and goes very nicely with the suit. If, if you want an office fragrance that smells a little bit sexy, 
then go for Profumo. For dates, if you're a younger guy and you want something that smells edible, but it's not gonna annoy you, it's not too sickly sweet, go for One Million Lucky, a beautifully balanced gourmand fragrance. It smells like hazelnut caramel popcorn. DNG The One EDP is the best balanced day night fragrance out there. Still a very safe beginner choice, but it obviously doesn't have the best performance. If you want a better performing alternative to The One, you go for Issey Miyake's Noir Ombre, which is a leather-based, incense smoky, amber-based fragrance. All these notes gives it a lot of structure and longevity. It's beast mode and still super sexy. If you want to go one level further in the amber-based game, you go for MFK's Grand Soir, the sexiest, very warm date night fragrance that you'll ever smell from uh, the entire market. Tom Ford's Noir Extreme is for the guy who wants to smell rich, dense, super sweet, have a very unique date night scent to wear that's just close to the skin but still performs well. Killian's Angel Share is the fragrance you go for if you like the idea of a whiskey note mixed, mixed with a gourmand praline. It's unique, beautifully balanced and one of the best in the market for sure in this genre. Easily worth the money. Zerjov's Naxos is the best tobacco fragrance on the market that is beautifully balanced. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal EDP is what you go for if you like the idea of smelling like cherry but in a masculine way. Spice Bomb Extreme is probably the best designer spicy fragrance on the market that has monstrous performance. If you want to smell sweet and <laughs> edible and CH Men Privé is still one of the best bad boy fragrances out there. A super nice balance of whiskey, leather, and fresh notes. For the summer category, Light Blue Intense is still king, easily one of the best beginner fragrances in this genre. If you want to elevate this DNA one step further, you go for Goldfield and Banks' Bohemian Lime, the smoothest citrus fragrance you'll smell in a long time. It's super sexy. A Lure Homme Edition Blanche by Chanel is for the guy who wants a more creamy and elegant summer fragrance. Mugler Cologne is the best smelling Neroli fragrance in this genre. It's nice and cheap. It doesn't last a long time, but it's easy to reapply throughout the day or use as your gym scent. A Lure Homme Sport is for the guy who wants a long lasting versatile summer signature that gets you a lot of compliments. Versace Pour Homme fills a similar role, but it's for the guy who wants to smell more sharp, clean and musky. The Your Homme Sport 2022, the new release, is fantastic. It's a winner. It's a very good performing fragrance that has quite a bit of character. It has nice notes of suede, is what I'm getting, with orange and aquatic notes. It smells like aquatic orange suede. If you guys haven't checked out this new release, I think you should. I'm enjoying it at the moment. Terre d'Hermes Eau Fresh, an underrated flanker. It smells like professional mature orange juice. Everyone loves it. It doesn't last a very long time, but if you don't mind reapplying, it's one of the best. Prada Luna Rosa Sport deserves a spot for being a vanilla-based summer fragrance, which is tricky to achieve, but it still smells light and easy to wear and lasts a good amount of time. And Parfum de Mali's Percival, for being a summer fragrance that lasts over 12 hours, has a good amount of projection and gives you a lot of compliments. And finally, the clubbing category. Versace Eros EDT still works, it still performs well, and it's still the safest clubbing fragrance that one can acquire. Versace Hawas is also super sexy, it's more on the fresher side. For the guy who wants to wear something maybe in the summertime, you like the Invictus DNA, but you want that amped up on steroids. I was going to suggest Mancera's Red Tobacco because it's loud, it definitely gets people's attention and it has the most beautiful dry down, but I'm actually going to suggest Alexandria's Hefez 1984. Underrated fragrance, has a similar opening to Red Tobacco but then it goes into a more boozy direction. I think it's more smooth, it doesn't have as polarizing an opening, but it's still loud, it gets you a lot of compliments, I think it works very well in partying or gig environments. I think Sauvage Elixir could be used for clubbing. It may be only in the winter time though, but it's super loud. It's got such beast mode performance, and it's definitely got that attention-grabbing spicy DNA that makes people uh, wanna know more about you. Stronger with you, pretty much any of their fragrances. Beginner-friendly, loud, sweet DNA that most people are gonna like. Azaro's The Most Wanted is one of the best recent releases for clubbing. I think it was inspired by Stronger With You, but it has its own character. It's a very nice toffee based fragrance that has some freshness to balance it out. If you like wearing a leather jacket to the club, go for Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. It's easy, simple to wear, it's loud, and it gets her attention. Tom Ford's Black Orchid could also work, but in a different direction. It goes a lot more sweet. It's not my style personally, but it works for a lot of guys. Try it on your skin and see if you like it. Latent Exclusive is now for the guy who wants to wear something in a more 
fancy party, maybe a black tie event. If you like the idea of the most popular spicy DNA on the market, mix that with coffee and oud to smell very different and interesting, you should try it out. And finally, another underrated recent release by Chanel in their private line, Le Lyon. An amber notes based fragrance that smells smoky, loud, sweet, it's beautiful. A very high quality uh, juice for this style and I'm surprised that Chanel finally have a clubbing uh, DNA. What did you guys think of this video? Don't forget to enter our giveaway if you're based in the UK. If you want to carry on with the 50 fragrances fun, make sure to check out our other video where I talk about 50 popular fragrances in three words in three minutes or less. If you guys have time, keep watching our videos. It pushes us on the algorithm. But if not, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.